Hey, welcome to That Kilted Guy 3-Minute Drywall School, where we teach you drywall skills in about 3 minutes. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button now. Once you've taped an inside angle like this, you generally most always have to coat it. Well, I'm going to show you how I do most of them when I'm doing them by hand. The homeowner taped this one. Now I like to use, we're using a USG Plus 3 lightweight mud. It's really easy to sand, feels good, but most any lightweight mud will work for you. Now as far as a knife, I like a 6 inch knife. Just works better for me, so give it a try if you haven't. Now the first thing to do is clean it up. There's some stuff in here you could scrape it out like this or you could sand it. Sanding is going to leave a little dust which sometimes make the mud not want to stick as well So if you can just scrape it do that Now I can show you it's medium thick you can see it will start Drooping here you don't want too thin or it's just kind of hard to use You can't put it on as thick as you want, but this is plenty now You don't want to use it straight out of the box if you don't have a mud mixer like us pros do throw some in your pan Go down to the hardware store or the uh, thrift store first. Pick you up a 99 cent egg beater. You can usually get two of them for a dollar. Chuck that up and drill, stir this up. It will feel like whipped cream compared to straight out of the box, which feels like a dog turd or something. So what I do is I like to load my knife up. If I'm doing this side, I will sometimes load it up heavy on the left side. Since I'm doing the left side, I want it heavy on the left. I don't have quite that same coordination, so I often just do it like this. I just get it out and then cut a little off so it's heavy on the left side. Now, it's like coating a lot of things. We put it on here and we just run it down like that. What you're trying to do is start out at a little bit steeper angle and as you go down, you kind of quickly lay your knife down in that spreads it out like that also you want to keep your knife fairly square in the corner now, if you look at this knife this corner right here is a 90 degree angle and then it rounds out you want one of these you don't want them too square or it'll dig into the other side because you want it in here at just about a 90 that way it's cleaning off the stuff that's trying to ooze out that side if you if you do it like that, see how it left a big line of mud right there. Now if I just turn my knife to square it up, I can clean that right off, most of it. If you leave a little bit, you can sand that. So you put it on in a slower motion, just like that. And then you want to feather the edge, which always means tilt and press. And notice how that's tight and clean. Well that probably didn't get feathered. That's why it had that nasty edge. If you feather it, you won't get that. But anyway, get your knife back in here square and you want to lean it over a little more than when you started because when you're floating, you lean your knife closer to the wall and you put a little more pressure. If you put your knife like this and push, it floats. So we got that. If I put my knife like this and push hard, that's pushing hard you see it just floats now if I stand it up and I don't bend it like that I just wipe it all off that's how you float as you lean your knife over push a little bit harder and there we have a perfectly coated to their angle that's about all there is to it usually angles inside angles only need taped and one coat of mud if you can put it on like this. Medium thick because, oops. And I will look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care, everybody. Hey girl, did you come to help me out on the video? I appreciate that. Yeah, you gotta go now, don't you? So go ahead and hit that subscribe button now.